Another piece of furniture for my family and like the other two, this one started by cutting down one of the pre-laminated Tazio kitchen bench tops. Unlike the two dining tables, this one didn't need gluing together for width, just some cleaning up on one edge and then cutting to width. I used the crosscut sled to cut it to length with some rolls going sideways and melamine to support it. As the design was changed after the material had been bought, thanks mum, it meant that there was a lot of resawing to do. The legs were to be 60 by 60 but I only had 90 by 45 material that was purchased for the project. I used the table saw to resaw it into 60 by 45 and then I used the band saw to split one of those into a 60 by a 20 ish sort of board. I probably should have used the bandsaw for all of it as it went much much faster as the table saw blade was getting a bit dull. I then used dominoes to assist with the lamination. The dominoes were really just there to stop the boards from sliding around uh, as I got the clamps on it. Honestly a biscuit joiner would have worked just as well but I actually couldn't find one. I needed to clean up the garage. After the leg sections were dried, I cut them to rough width and then ran them through the thicknesser to get a consistent 60 by 60 on all pieces. They were then cut to the exact length using the crosscut sled and a stop block that was screwed and clamped on. I need to remake my crosscut sled to make it lighter, melamine and jarrah were a poor choice, but I also really want to add an extension arm, so let me know if you've got any cool designs for that sort of thing. The long rails were too long for a stop block, so they're all ganged together and cut at once. The offcuts of that gave me all the short rails. One of those offcuts was then resawn into the basket dividers. For the shelf, I'm really wanted the same bench top material, but 25mm thick was a little bit too visually heavy for a shelf. I'd recently purchased a 19mm resawing blade and using the offcut of the hall table top, I resawed that into two pieces. This was slow. While I have a good band saw, it's still a lot of material to cut all at once. And while it might look like I was forcing it through, the saw was tilting very slightly because of the way it sits in the mobility stand. So I was actually bracing the stand downwards. Uh, I'll cover that in a review of my bandsaw, but basically the long and short of it is I've got a third party uh, mobility cart stand thingy for it and it's not quite as well attached as I would like. The resawn piece wasn't quite wide enough so I ran both halves through the thicknesser to get a smooth and even size so I could then glue the little bit on I needed.
Then it was onto the joiner room, and again I used the Domino. Yes, they're expensive machines, but they are super quick. All the joiner is done in one afternoon, and that's some very strong loose tenon and mortise joinery. The only real tricky bit about this was when I couldn't use the built-in fence on the domino to reference off a surface and I needed to create my own fences. I opted to glue the shelf up, then rip it to width, as it just made it a little bit easier to clamp and prevented too much bowing or any of that. Another late design change was mum deciding that the sides of the hall table needed to be enclosed with hardwood panels. This meant going to the router table and creating dados for it to sit in. The offcut of the shelf came in handy and was formed into the floating side panels. The final design change was when the back needed to have something to stop the baskets falling out. I don't quite understand this as it's going to be up against the wall, but you know, clients, yay. Particularly family clients, yay. I guess the moral of the story is don't do work for family, it's a good way to frustrate yourself. A simple rebate was put in after glue up to accommodate a plywood panel. Because the panel won't be seen, it was created from two pieces as I didn't have any left over from my draw build that was long enough to span the hole. So the whole table is now done and in its natural environment for now until there is a buffet that will be built for mum in a future video. Uh, again, filled the pores at the top, which made a massive difference to the polyurethane. Again, it was the Minwax Satin Poly. Um, I didn't show you the construction because the lighting was bad and lots of clamps going in and out, so it was just a bit of a mess to do. Baskets are now full of stuff. Uh, what I didn't show was the runner, which at the moment is just a piece of wood. We weren't sure what mum actually wanted, uh, so just an unglued piece of wood for now, and if that works out, we'll glue it down. Otherwise, uh, we'll experiment with maybe a few different runners or extra dividers to keep the uh, baskets all parallel. At the back there is a piece of plywood that goes in that channel that I routed out uh, and that just got uh, stapled on. That means that should we decide we don't like the particular piece of plywood I had we can fairly easily remove it. Uh, the top is attached with using those tabletop fasteners that I used in the well, table build. Uh, and currently the shelf is not attached, it's just floating there. It's not going to have much, but probably basket decoration on it. Uh, I'll endeavour to make up some plans for this. Now I'm thinking of moving away from SketchUp to Fusion 360, so there may be a video on that in the near future where I'll make the plans for this available. I know it's probably a bit more too specific for anybody else to want it, but the plans will be there. Thanks for watching.